In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can divide radicals of mixed or different index. When we have a mixed or different index, we need to get those indexes to match under a common index, just like we'd find a common denominator. Looking at this problem, we have the 6th root of x to the 4th, y cubed z squared, over the 8th root of x to the 7th, y squared z. Looking at the index of 6 and 8, we can see the common index, as if a common denominator of 6 and 8, will be 24. So we're going to rewrite all of this under one big 24th root. As we do that, we need to multiply the 6 by 4 and the 8 by 3. When we multiply the index by a number, we also have to multiply the exponents by the same value. Doing this with the x, we get x to the 4 times 4, or 16, y to the 4 times 3, or 12, and z to the 4 times 2, or 8, in the numerator. In the denominator, we are multiplying by 3. So we have x to the 7 times 3, or 21, y to the 3 times 2, or 6, and z to the 1 times 3, which is 3. Now that everything is under a common index of 24, we can simplify by subtracting exponents. If we end up with a negative answer, the result will go in the denominator. If we end up with a positive answer, the result will go in the numerator. So on the x's, when we do 16 minus 21, we get negative 5. Technically, that x to the negative 5 is on top, but the negative exponent tells us to move it down to the denominator. For the y's, 12 minus 6 is 6, positive staying in the numerator. For the z's, 8 minus 3 is 5, positive staying in the numerator. Now that we've reduced what we can, we run into another problem. This x to the 5th is in the denominator of a fraction, but it is also underneath a radical. We do not like to have denominators under radicals. So what we're going to have to do is rationalize this denominator. Using the index of 24, we see we need 24 factors to clear out each radical. So under the 24th root, we've already got 5 x's. We need 19 more x's to give us a total of 24 under the radical. We do the same thing in the numerator and denominator. Whoops, 24th root of x to the 19th, sorry. And so, in the numerator now, we have the 24th root of x to the 19th, y to the 6th, z to the 5th, over... With 24 x's under the radical, we can pull the x out, leaving nothing under the radical. And our final answer is the 24th root of x to the 19th, y to the 6th, z to the 5th, all over x. We were able to divide these radicals of mixed index by identifying a common index of 24, multiplying the index and exponents all by the same value, and once we were under a common index, we could subtract the exponents. Remember, for our final solution, we don't like radicals and denominators overlapping, so we might have to rationalize our final denominator.